I am... Um, I'm just not a fan of Dark Souls 3. It's, it's a combination of things. I couldn't figure out how to get my NPCs to do anything yet. I'm gonna go back and try again, but all of them just sat in town and they just had one line of dialogue that never ever changed the whole game. So I thought that compared to Dark Souls 1 and 2 and every other game, Elden Ring especially, the Dark Souls 3 NPCs were super boring. Mine just sat in town and all died off and nothing happened. The next thing I really hate about Dark Souls 3 is that it's the first game where after you kill a boss, the health bar's completely gone, they're dead. It's the first game where they just get back up. And they're just like, haha, full health bar, completely change how I work, and then they just carry on and, and do different stuff. Now before that, in Dark Souls 2, there's like this this queen, the evil queen in Dark Souls 2. And she at least has the decency to have a save point. After you beat the first two guys, that's like the King of Hearts and the Queen of Spades in Dark Souls 2. And then you get the final boss after, which is the Queen of the Castle. There's a save point. But in Dark Souls 3, you have to start again from, from the beginning. After you kill a boss and it just gets up again and they just cheat. I hate them. They're, they're, they're cheaters. All the bosses in Dark Souls 3. So that was kind of annoying. And then of course there's this mid-ear guy that just, just steps on me to, to kill me. Despite me having a shield and I, I find that unfun too. It makes me mad. With a starting health. I'll probably enjoy it more when I, I go back and I, you know, I just try and play it normally. Uh, at least these ones don't need upgraded. There's a lot of appeal to that for me. Oh yeah, no Dark Souls 3 sucks in comparison to the others. Oh cool. It's nice to see someone on my side. My uh, my friend who I've been hanging out with for like a million years. He's, he was my raid leader in original Wrath of the Lich King when it came out a million years ago. He loves Dark Souls 3. It's his favorite one of all of them. And then I, I was I was looking forward to enjoying Dark Souls 3 because he said it was the best. Undeniably the best. And it's it's my it's my least favorite. And I just can't believe we had such a difference of opinion on this one thing. We like agree on, on so much more, but but not this. Uh, his new favorite's not actually Dark Souls 3 anymore, it's Lord of the Fallen. Which is the only reason I ended up trying Lords of the Fallen, because it has really negative Steam reviews. But Lords of the Fallen is really cool. I absolutely love that game. It's it's easily on par with all the rest of them. And I, I don't get why the Steam reviews are so bad. But I haven't gone and looked at them. Uh, because I'm worried about any additional spoilers for me going back to the game and things that I didn't find the first time around. But Lords of the Fallen is it's amazing. And I, I, I just don't get it. Way better than Dark Souls 3, that's for sure. God, it took me forever to kill those twin princes on Dark Souls 3. And the, the run back to them is is it's just it's just terrible. I can't remember what we were doing. What are we doing? Oh, we're in uh we're in Mergo's castle. That was it. Then we're going to be defeating the man with the thing on his head. Squid Arms Hat Man. Uninspired, no poise at all. Literally, if you get the highest poise successful in the game, you can take one broadsword to strike without staggering. Lever design. For, uh, that, for me, is really disappointing compared to the previous two games. Bloodborne gameplay plastered onto Dark Souls formula does not work. Yeah, I think... That was it. That, like Dark Souls 3, that's another thing, is that it's the first one of the games that goes really, really quickly. Or at least it's the first one that I played where the combat was sped up massively. And I'm fine with it now. Like Elden Ring combat is nice and fast. But I, I kind of resent Dark Souls 3 as the game that really like changed the flow of combat. Even though I'm now kind of, you know, into it a bit more now that I've played more games with the faster combat. But yeah, I, I attribute fast, strange, new combat speeds to Dark Souls 3, for sure. Maybe someday I'll learn to forgive Dark Souls 3, but uh, it, it won't be today.
It's also just a hell of a lot of nostalgia bait. That's boring. I, I know that while I was playing, I recognized a whole bunch of things from Dark Souls 1 and 2. I was very excited to like look around the terrain and see old references. That, that was kind of cool for me. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Because I kind of just played them all back to back. Because I've been avoiding spoilers for all these games for, for years and years and years. It was pretty awesome to just play 1, 2, 3 without having to wait for them to release in between. They were already out. So I, I got a nice run through of everything. And it was it was glorious. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is the boss duel. Let's do this thing. Ah. Oh. Some say Cosm. Do you hear our prayers? No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. <laughs> Oh, I should have checked downstairs before I uh, went after this guy. Damn. Okay, so he's not there. We start off on the right, I believe. No. Interesting. I guess he doesn't do that the first time. Ah, here we go. We got him. Ah. Interesting. Straight to this room. Ah, squid arm. That's just the fake. He's still he's still around. Oh, 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 majestic! A hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. Nightmares worlds and churns unending. I really disliked the Anor Londo in Dark Souls 3. I didn't think it was good enough. Like, it wasn't good enough for me to be... A return to the place because it's kind of like melted and collapsed and the cool giant guy that I absolutely love is dead so I, I kind of hated it I didn't think that was very good Now, the one that I liked was um, the Dark Souls 2 windmill. I liked when that showed up. I thought that was uh, that was good, that it was flat on its side. Some of the air around there. And then the fireball throwing lass that you can get the outfit from. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ah. I remember I need to chase him up here and then drop down. Maybe I need to pull a lever here so that the bridge is up. I can't remember if that's after. Hmm. No, I think I'll just chase him up here again and see if he goes the other way next time. Oh, this is the room, maybe. No, he doesn't stop here. Okay, okay. Ah, right, right, right. I think I think I know what I'm doing.
Give me that. So we need to go up. I think. And then take a right. And then here. Squid powers. Yeah, come on. Oh, I don't like that. Less come on. More more be friendly. Yeah, dodge through it. Oh damn, I got him in one? Thank you, thank you for the kudos. Thank you very much. I like how his shout was like, "Oh no, I'm waking up! I'll forget everything." That's that's how I begin every morning. <laughs> oh, the the lift moves itself. Okay, that's cool. It's been a while. The, the one that's that's trapping me in wasn't a natural progression nor is the world a cohesive one you take a bunch of time moving through areas that could have hinted at an Olanda coming up then you go down some, some caves from basically the ground floor of the continent already and you're at the ground level of a large city no hints that it would be there yeah it's kind of weird that you, you go past that like King Leoric kind of guy he's not called that uh, with the bangles and then you like it follows on and it comes out of the Bottom town below Anor Londo. That is a little bit odd. I guess it's no less odd than um, when you go past the windmill bit in Dark Souls 2 and then you go up a really long lift and you're at a lava mountain. But it's... It's up, but it's surrounded by an area that doesn't look like you can look down and see the, the previous area. It's all very, very strange. Uh, right. This is a lot of souls. I'm thinking about maybe heading back, buying a couple of level ups, and checking out that that weird area that I found that was just blackened out. Oh, cool. Some extra loot. Nice. Iron door key. I probably found that last time, but let's have a refresher. One of the great three bridges that link the two cathedral cradles. The key opens up the iron door that leads to the mid-level bridge. I know where this is. I remember where this is. This took me like a million years to find this last time because I never just looked on the left slightly and saw it. So I went past this door for so many thousands of hours on the first playthrough. If there are no thieves in the nightmare, then why lock a door? <laughs> be warned, there must be a very, very good reason. I'm pretty sure that leads out to, like, where the eyeball that I can't figure out is but we're gonna we're gonna sleuth that thing on on stream i'm gonna figure out how it's all done it's gonna be great so we're looking for a stairs down nope what about this way hmm yeah uh, no maybe Oh, this looks like it might be back. Cool. We didn't go down there yet, as well. Dark Souls 1, well designed, Bloodborne lamp 
placement at Stakes of America exclusively before bosses is the ideal from soft game design in my opinion. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they'll make us a Dark Souls 4 and it will all work like that. That'd be cool. The uh, friend of mine that likes Dark Souls 3 that I mentioned, he said there will be no blood, uh, no Dark Souls 4. He thinks that Elden Ring's uh, easier to get into-ness means that they'll never release anything like a Dark Souls ever again. Because you can sell the game to more people that's uh, easier to get into. And you can sell a difficult game. So we'll, we'll use the iron key here now. But I, I don't think I'm going to go out here just yet. But it's, it's on the list. They better not make a Dark Souls 4. Considering it's literally, literally supposed to be the end of the Souls story anyway. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that. At some point, um, we're going to do like a, a spoilers are allowed final run of Dark Souls 1. And then we'll do it for 2 and 3 and, and everything else. But at the moment, I've played Dark Souls 1 three times and I'm still discovering things in Dark Souls 1. I think we're done now. I think the next playthrough of Dark Souls 1 is the final viewers can tell me anything they want version of the game. It, it should be pretty rad. I was pretty much just waiting for Wire Spot to get back because I think I think he's going to lead me through it. He was reading up on how to like get the playthrough where you find the most stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the endings of some of the NPC storylines. I'm hoping to reunite Onion Dad with Onion Daughter, which is something that I've never been able to do yet. Welcome but I bet you can. On, good hunter, what is it? Very well. Let me Let's see. We go for another skill, maybe. Yeah, we're just getting more out of skill. We're getting the same amount on the on the Ludwigs and a little bit more on the rifle. I miss Peak Souls too. I don't know what that is. Sounds interesting. There we go. Are you not able to play Dark Souls 2 these days? Well, I am. I can just plug it in, turn it on, and fire it up. And off it goes. Farewell, good hunt. May you find you. Literally just Dark Souls 2, but they're calling it Peak. Oh, okay. I'm I'm all out of touch with all the lingo. Because I just, you know, I just uh I spend no time on the, the Reddit, the wiki, the anything else, because it's all gonna be full of spoilers. My outfit's all fine. We spent as many souls as we could. I don't know, actually. Do I have any more poppable souls? I do. Okay. So let's use just one of these. See how much a level up is. And maybe, uh... Welcome home. What is it? Very well. Let me... Hey! We can spend down to almost nothing. Both gonna give me 97. This is gonna be better for my other item. Cool. Nice. So I'm supposed to be going Dexterity, but I didn't really like any of the uh, skill, rather, but I didn't really like any of the skill weapons. Yeah, I hated it when I went into the Madea Arena and Madea Madea all over the place. Yep. Farewell, good. May you. F I wish I'd never discovered Madea, but there's a second like uh, area nearby there, which is the only other thing I want to do in Dark Souls 3 before exiting. There is a voice actor that I can hear. From the inflection of his voice, that is Patches. But he seems like a nice Patches. And he's there and he says, I really want to find this, this statue to pray at. And I can see where the statue is. I spent like millions of hours looking through the binoculars. And I can see up where it is. And I can see up where some of the extra mobs are. But I can't figure out how to get up there. I'm still kind of trying to puzzle it out. But there's this plaque nearby. that when you look up. There's like a, an entrance or an exit just above the plaque that says something along the lines of show your humanity or show your humility. And I've been standing in front of that plaque trying to figure out how to make it work, how to make it do something, how to get up through the level. 
up to where this other necromancer guy is. There's these giant necromancers, and up to where the statue is to figure out that thing for that Patches character. I, I just can't figure it out, and that's the only two things left in, in Dark Souls 3, and then I will finally be able to finish my playthrough, and it will be so good. And I, because it took me so long, I've been so tempted to try and, like, resist the temptation to ask somebody. It's been really tempting to just ask somebody how that goes. But uh, I, I've... I've stayed the course. I've been strong. Let's see if I can find that that crazy elevator. I might have ruined it by doing that next boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm as likely to believe that as I am to believe that, you know, just like a spaceship takes you up there. Like, I'm, I'm equally on board for, for any of those things. Okay, so we've got to get this one. Let's see if we can... Come on. Oh, ah, damn. This time? No? I guess I'm on uneven terrain. That's why it's not doing this. Okay, cool. Oh, now the, the, now the lift is there. So maybe you do have to defeat the boss before this lift shows up. It's interesting. I am dying, though, which is bad. It's real bad. I can beat the boss, but I can't beat the basic dudes. Gotcha. One guy left. I hate these crossbow lads. I need a shield. Bring back the shield. Also, for Dark Souls 2... I completed the game first time, no guides, all of that stuff. But the thing I didn't mention is, because I f found Dark Souls 1 to go quite easy at the end, I did it with... Oh, enjoy your walk, Sly. I did it with no magic. I forbid myself from using magic, because I, I just found it helped me too much in Dark Souls 1. And the other thing was that I forbid myself from using a shield as well. So Dark Souls 2 was absolutely crazy. No shield, no magic, only rolling, starting health, no clue what I was doing, but it was glorious. When we finished it, I felt so accomplished. I can't remember if I rested for a little while before I started Dark Souls 3. I don't think I did. I think I just started it up the next day. Cool, another gem. Uh, yeah, I kind of forbid anyone from telling me what the stats do and what stats to avoid and what stats to get. And it's kind of still in effect right now because we've got to do the new game plus on that save. But yeah, I just kind of picked what I wanted to. So if I picked up anything garbage, it's just there and I'm not specking out of it, even if you can. I don't know if you can. And uh, that that just stays with me. That's part of the process, you know, not having all the, the, the wiki meta stats and all of that. Because I come from, uh... Ooh, I hate this area. I come from just playing MMOs to the absolute best of my best and having the absolute maximized stats all the time. If there's any gear that I can get outside of the raids in MMOs, I get it. And I'm always fully enchanted and everything else. And I just found that no one else was doing me the same honor. And the storylines of World of Warcraft kind of suck now as well. So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm done with MMOs. I'm going to play all the games that I missed over the last 30 years. And I'm going to do it with absolutely no strats, no guides, no wikis, no nothing. Because I'm sick of that stuff. You know, I made the absolute best character that I could all the time. And now I'm just, I'm just going to do whatever. It's going to win regardless. N no consumables in a lot of these ones. Story is so bad, all you can say is, wow, yep, I get it. So we do hit, yeah, this is the way I was testing before. You do hit oh, an invisible wall. And then I think I went all the way around a whole bunch of times. And I still couldn't figure out 
Whoa, you can actually see the line on the wall here. Freaky. And I couldn't figure out what this is. I don't know what's happening down here. If I suddenly trigger a boss, it is going to scare the life out of me. This is a lot like the Four Kings of Dark Souls 1, you're right. I just, I find this so weird. They couldn't have, like, just left a test error in the game, surely. I found Walnir so funny in the end. I thought it was kind of difficult. And then it's just like, oh, just slap him in the bangles and he loses. He's got magical bracelets. I didn't. <laughs> Very strange, boss. Took me a long time of Dark Souls 3 to figure out how to um, get the guy that you need to kill with, like, Storm Herald. The giant guy. I... I was I was yelling at the chat that I couldn't figure this out. I'm all like, damn, this stupid sword doesn't work. Look, you, you press this button, you press that button, it does nothing. And then while I was demoing why I hated it so much, I finally propped, like, how you are supposed to are attack with it. And uh, I was just like, oh, man, now I feel stupid. I'm sitting here trying to prove to people that this weapon's dumb and it doesn't work to, to slay the giant. And I I, ooh, I I proved myself wrong rather than the game wrong. So this is just bizarre. I don't understand this room at all. Ooh, I've lost the middle now. Let's try let's just try running across the darkness again. What the hell is is this? And like the torch doesn't change things it's uh, it's like the dark is all consuming even off the light of the torch the torch is not uh, radiating the area at all with light it's barely illuminating me it's, it's creepy up oh, i lost the middle thing all right there it is we'll, we'll, we'll just leave because this isn't going anywhere, but I, I want to know what this does. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to. It's going to be awesome when I do. Maybe it's something to do with knocking that brain downstairs. Maybe I knock the brain downstairs and then I fight it down here. Don't leave. I mean, I guess I could do the, the rest of the... One hour, 50 minutes of the stream, just me walking around in a circle. But I don't think it'll be a very interesting stream. Alright, let's 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 go through that iron door next and see what's up over there. Yeah, I had to look up Storm Ruler, but I didn't try to prove it was dumb because I knew I was missing something. Yeah, I kind of knew I was missing something and then went on to prove it was dumb, but it it, it, it turned around on me. Why would you fight a brain? Literally be ahead of you the whole fight. Ah, uh, I get it. Nice. Ah, oh, get off me, dogs. Okay, we're going this way. So let's see if we can figure this thing out. Hey, the skeletons are back. Wh wait, the guy controlling the skeletons is dead. How does that work? Right. We'll just trust that they're not going to follow me in here. They're good skeletons. They're good boys. Let's see if we can figure out this eyeball brain shenanigans. Oh, ow. Up, uh, up, uh, please don't. Uh, that's going to max out. Potion. Oh, ow. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just stuff some more potions down our throat. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. We got a, a, a very strangely shaped gem. Huh. Ow, God. Ow. Stop it. Let's try this way first. When does killing somebody's boss ever stop people from trying to murder you in FromSoft's games? In fairness, true. Some of these guys should be more loyal to their, their bosses. Whoa, wait. Hold up. 
I don't think I ever jumped off of this. Is this a thing? Maybe, maybe we'll try a running jump at it. Not that this has ever worked for me. Yeah, nope, nothing. Oh god, frenzy. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. Oh, why am I still getting bar? It stopped hours ago. I hate you, brain eyeball. Should I just try and I don't know I don't know, I don't know what strat's gonna be the best here. I'm gonna try and run up and stab it. Wait, what? This doesn't count? I'm behind a pillar! Oh, that's so stupid. I swear the game doesn't even know like where its own corners are. Come on! That wasn't my fault. Boo. Boo, from soft. Where's my patch? Fix it. If I'm behind a pillar, I shouldn't gain any more frenzy. Ah, I've only got 13 health potions. Never mind, we'll try it without health potions. We don't need health potions to win. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, mind terrors from the great beyond don't respect the boundaries or walls. We'll get him, though. We'll get him. I think if they're going to have this system with health files, they should have mobs drop health files more often. That would actually, you know, that would alleviate some of the problems immediately. I did drop this brain thing into that blackened room, there wouldn't be any cover to hide behind. So now I'm kind of hoping we don't kick it down into that room. Ah, oh, damn it. I'll get you yet. Oh man. I feel guilty doing a um a health potion run, but I kinda have to now. I'm I'm on eleven. Sorry everybody. If it were that easy, what would Lovecraft have to write about? True. I've never watched, uh, sorry, I've never read any of those books, but I saw a, a TV show, uh, no wait, it wasn't a TV show, it was a film, which had that kind of theme, the, the guy's investigating something, he checks in at a hotel, the people are kind of normal, but then the day sort of repeats, but then the, the people at the beginning of the hotel are acting very strange, and he goes up to a church towards the end of it, and it's like a cult. It's crazy good, but I can't remember what it was called. I'm terrible at like names of things. Frenzied after death is just disrespect. True. I can't believe the bar still keeps going up after I'm dead. Like how can I be frenzied and angry while I'm I'm literally dead? Definitely love the theme of like Gods in the outer world are kind of messing with humans and making them insane, but I don't have as much experience with, with the medium as I'd like. I think there's some kind of Cthulhu game on Steam that's often on sale and I might, I might try and play that. I guess I just kind of like games with sanity systems. I, I I guess I do feel frenzy when I play Bloodborne with just the starting health. Uh, that's that's true. That is kind of like the emotion that I feel a lot of. And when I'm having to farm health potions again like this, uh, once again the frenzy does kind of take over. 
Consider amnesia the bunker. Cool. I I will try and remember, but usually I have people write down the game suggestions on the Discord. But uh, I'm 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 gonna get through a lot of games. We, we get a lot of great suggestions of TV shows, films, and games for me to uh, partake of. Wow, I've got so much damage now. That I, I get them in one. That's nice. On my initial save, where I just have nothing with the starting hit points, I just put billions of points into strength. This is like, eh, what else am I gonna do? And I was, I was hitting really, really hard early on, if nothing else. It's a really good survival horror game. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this game called uh, Seven Days to Die. I got it in, in a humble bundle, but now they've just like had their full release really recently, and it costs like forty-five pounds on the Steam store if you want it now. It's hugely jacked up price, but it's good. It's pretty interesting. There's zombies everywhere trying to kill you, but also you got like hunger and food, and you got to build yourself a house like it's Minecraft and things. Have you died during a Helvira run? After Rom, out of curiosity. I don't think so. Unfortunately, I'm 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 far too smart and I've kind of strung together the fact that you may have just spoiled for me that if you die while in the nighttime version of an earlier level, something will happen to you. And I'm a little bit upset that you just maybe potentially ruined that for me. It's like that could have happened to me at some point. Damn. But now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about, hmm, I bet if you die, some, something happens. There's like a, there's like a cutscene or something. Oh well. I can't undo what's been done. But maybe that isn't what you were getting at. But that's what I'm that's what I'm picking up. Uh this is the wrong warp thing we wanna be. Yeah. Yeah. Humiliation would have been too much, you would have to stop streaming. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's what you were getting at. Now I'm worried that there's a hidden cutscene for dying in the original level. I really am. One hand is two handed. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run across the bridge past the brain thing and go into the, the room on the other side. I remember there being some stuff over there. Maybe there's like some more spiders to fight or something. You get a cool view out of the, uh, the cage. I really like that distant view. It's nice. And you have to deal with the humi humiliation of dying in an early level. Lose lose situation for real. Yeah, it'd be super ironic if I, like, I went too many levels too deep with something you were saying and it was not that at all. And I just went out and I died in a beginning level and it was all for nothing. That, that would be a M. Night Shyamalan twist right there. A true fake out. I right, run up this far. And then I'll think about maybe, do I have any better... Frenzy. Oh, I could have put a rune of frenzy resist on. That would have been the smart thing to do. God, I'm so stupid. Oh well. I'll find a, a nice frenzy resist hat. And so on. And then if we keep on dying, we'll go back and we'll pick up the rune as well. Alright, cool. What mishmash gear did I end up with? Yeah, that looks kind of weird. 3, 2, 1, go. Ow. Come on, I hit the health potion button. I can't... 
I can't stop failing at this. It does look a little bit like Slave, Slave Night Gale. You're right. Wow. Why didn't I pick that up immediately when, when seeing it? But yeah. Ha. <laughs> cool. Right, we'll try and grab like, what is it, like 200 more resist by, by getting the rune on quickly. Sorry about the extra loading screens. I, it's so embarrassing for me when I have viewers and then I, I do stupid things the entire time and people are probably clicking away from the video. So what about Frenzy Resist plus 200 and then All Resist plus 100? And then, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't think it's worth boosting health. Because I think it's like a percentage of your health. Because I remember I was able to like play this content even with the complete starting health. So I reckon it just it just scales with whatever your maximum health is, and there's there's no point trying to chase extra health to do this. Here we go. Straight back in it to win it. I should see what my stats are now. I bet they're glorious. Five hundred and fifty is a lot of frenzy resist. Is it gonna help? No. But did I try? Yeah, I tried. Well, you knew something then that you don't know now. I've got plenty of strategies from first playthroughs. Thankfully, I recorded it. Oh my god, am I about to plug my YouTube? I think so. Oof. The YouTube URL is the same as the Twitch URL, but we're just YouTube at the start instead of Twitch TV. And, uh, yep, that's enough of that. I hate hitting, that's saying things like, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, or, 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 or all of that stuff. Yeah, I, d I, I don't like doing it. I just don't enjoy it. If people are going to subscribe and they want to subscribe, they'll do it without you telling them. But each time you see a video on doing better on YouTube, it's all like, you've got to verbally tell people, else they won't do it. And I, I hate it. I don't feel like that's how human beings work. Well, this, this is a bigger bar, definitely, for sure. And with the bar this big, it means that when you have that overflow amount, even after it stops, it doesn't just fill and you die. So this is kind of cool. This is kind of nice. I like this. Is it going to help me win? I don't know. But I didn't die just a second ago. Which is a new record for this save. Ow. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Hello, spiders. How you doing? Choppy choppy. Ow. What the hell? Truly, I was the one that got choppy choppied. Inwardine discovers how capacities and overflow works. 2024. Yeah. We learning. Oh, God. Is it singing at me? That's that's weird, bro. Don't sing at me. It's creepy. Perfect. Oh god. Whoa, almost put one foot off the edge. I hate these things. They turn on grab on me so easily. No, no, stop, desist. Oh God. <gasps> Ooh. Ah, waste of a health potion, done it. God, damn. Uh, cool face. 
I don't think there's any secret rooms up here. I probably would have checked that, but... Are you a mimic? You wouldn't be a mimic, right? No, are we cool? I just wanted to check. All right. We're fine. Wire bell. Don't remember what that is. Let's have a look. Nah. Uh, 40 arcane. I don't have that. Wait. Wrong thing. 15 arcane. Special hunter tool of the choir. We know about the choir now. I found the level that they live on. Still haven't been one of the bosses that's down there. Up there, rather. But, yeah, I didn't find the choir's level last time. High-ranking members of the church, fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence. Yeah, I do that when I step on Lego. The sound of this smaller, silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. Oh, cool. There's a, there's a guy that you summon for that other boss that I was just talking about that, uh, that AoE heals, and I was wondering how he does it. And it's this. It's the choir bell. It's called, like, Damien or something. It's a cool dude. But we only just figured out, after a million hours of Bloodborne, that it cost me one of my, my eyeball currencies to summon a guy. So I'm probably not going to do that anymore. Ugh. Easy does it. Phew. Right. Now I've got to try and get into the, the room with the eyeball thing. Oh, God. Oh, that was it. It can't see you from some of the sides, I think. Right, so there's a level above this guy with a patrol walking back and forward across it, and I've seen it with the binoculars like a million times, and I still can't figure out how to get out there. It's been really bothering me. But we're, we're going to figure that out too. You're in that menu for like a minute, and your frenzy still wasn't out when you were done. True. Good job I, I like to yap away and talk, else uh, we'd never get the, the frenzy bar done. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of conversation, and the time passes by awfully quickly. I think last time I like shot it with a gun for a little while, and like blood sprays off of it, but it doesn't do any damage to it or something. That's not the gun. It's, uh, it's dry. Oh, it does do damage. I don't think I'd be able to, uh, you know, kill it this way, though. I think you can roll down inside. But I couldn't figure out anything to do while I was oh, in there. Ow. Yeah. Okay, let's hotkey sedatives again, because this is just getting annoying. I've only got a few though, so we've got to experiment very carefully. Oops. I don't use consumables in these games often, so I get that wrong all the time. There we go, sedatives. And a go. Oh, blood rock. Sweet. Okay, so it can't see me from the back. I still can't properly target him. Uh, hmm. What's down the hole? A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> A whole lot of nothing. Wait, wh wh whoa, I didn't even realize I was dying. Ah, shoot. I just, I just, <laughs> I stepped off and I just exploded. Bang. So that's not how we do it. Okay, we've got to re-equip, like, the, 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 the monocle thing and have a look around and see if I can see that platform with the guy. <laughs> yeah, that blood explosion with a stub toe. Ouch. Oh my god. Where's Mr. Monocle? 
I don't think you can zoom in and enhance with the Bloodborne, and I think it's disappointing. It's one of the games where you can actually press a couple of keys and... Whoops. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Now, I'm starting to think you can't zoom with the monocle. Wait, does the lift not work while you're on the monocle? Huh. Come on. Uh, right, well, we can't really see from here. I'll have to keep going for now. We'll wait until we're on the next bit we, where we can sort of see outside. Uh, we don't want to step off of that because the bridge isn't there anymore. Bridge be gone. I wonder if my souls are on the bottom part of the bridge or if it's like up the top. One would be okay and one would be very bad. We'll, we'll, we'll go for them. Maybe I'll pick up all this stuff. That was a nightmare for consumable usage, and it still didn't really figure things out for me. But maybe my souls are over there. Totally not worth it, but I did it anyway, out of pride. Ha! Got my souls back, you jerk. Take that, eyeball thing. And I'm in your house killing your mans. Um, might as well go through the, the shortcuts again. It's all good. I should really stop wondering where all my health potions go. I know exactly where they go. They go on my foolish endeavours to try and figure things out without using the internet to cheat. That, that's where all the health potions have gone. I think so. You mentioned this the other day. I think somebody said it was the, the the music that plays on this really long ladder in one of the Metal Gear Solid games. But I haven't played that one. The last Metal Gear Solid game I played was on my PlayStation 2. Metal Gear Solid 2. This guy called Raiden in it. It was great. I love the plot of that game. Metal Gear Solid 2 was amazing. It just literally turns out everything was a scam and, and Raiden was a sucker. <laughs> and that's it. The end. Like if you play through it on like a run where you skip the cutscenes, the game's like 10 minutes long instead of 7,000 hours. It's great. So we haven't gone, we haven't gone down yet. We'll, uh, we'll do that. Oh, a loot, loot guy. Come here, Mr. Loot. Ah. I think this is a group of three. One of them's a crossbow guy, so I don't want to head too far forward. I don't know if these guys can be interrupted. Yes, they can. Cool. We got him. My partner's into Metal Gear Solid, and knowing the story of at least three of the games, 
It's like getting frenzy in real life. Yeah, they're kind of hard to track, I assume, after a while. Because everything's like, secret organization did this, but no, it turns out secret, secret organization is just a front for this other secret organization that has a mole that made them do that because they wanted this to happen instead. <laughs> it's just... Oof, it really, uh... It really goes places fast. Like, I've only just started watching this uh, TV show called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And, yeah, that, that thing kind of changes locations and topics and everything else really fast as well. I'm kind of getting back into that kind of speed of everything not being the thing that it initially says it is. But it is... It, it's rough. Very fast show. Oh, we got one. Yeah, it sure is a bizarre adventure. Straight up, no fooling. What about episode five? And it's just, it's just, it's crazy. All oh, right, this shotgun guy, uh, the crossbow guy is not gonna do anything interruptible. It's a crossbow. So we got the moon. We we literally picked up the the moon. A guy was holding it. Well, no wonder there's been chaos and tidal waves and all kinds of strangeness. Some guy's got the moon. Oh, you don't know a damn thing yet, then? No, probably not. It's lots of fun, though. I'm, I kind of I kind of love JoJo. I just immediately didn't take me long to really think it was it was a supremely awesome series ow man that was surely that should be interruptible he did a cool little leap slam and I got him while I was in the air with a gun and he didn't stop not even for a second I just it's so inconsistent Bloodborne with like can interrupt this guy doing a leap attack, but not this guy. You can with that guy. I'm just, I'll never be good at this thing. I think I've gone too far, but also I haven't looted anything in this direction, maybe. So maybe this is right. Oh, I'm, I'm back in like the, the cloudy Hall of Mirrors thing. Okay. I guess I should have taken a left somewhere, or a right somewhere, and I didn't. No, now I'm on the first floor. Okay, let me, let me, let me brain figure this out. Let me think my way through. You go in here, and to follow the boss, you turn right. And that takes you to the next area. Which is here. We now need to go through this and succeed, and then we're up another level. Aha, right. Oh my god, I should have picked up this save years ago when we first defeated the boss. God, I'm so stupid. Well, I guess I was just doing other things. Did everything in a roundabout way. It's fine. Now, can I see the guy that I'm thinking about from here? I bet I can. 